called? What's what called? This H of X. Well, what are you doing with F of X and G of X? Ready? So it would be a sum. Okay. Right? Being done typing? I'm done typing, yeah. You're done typing? Yep. Shelby, you're done. Mm -hmm. Layla, are you done typing or you got a little bit more? Uh, I'll just finish it. Okay. I'm still typing this Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine you knock over your own camera. That would be awful. Alright. Julia, are you just agreeing with someone right now? <laughs> yes. Kelsey, you're done. Done. All right, really quickly. So I do want to point this out. Y'all did get to a good point here. Um, it is important to be careful with our language. Um, earlier, I just heard some people saying the sum would always be linear. So I do want you to notice, right, when I add f of x and I add g of x and I hit that play so it just continues through every possible option, is the sum, the black function, linear? Yeah, we're holding to that pretty well. But also, it's not just that. What else did we discover that we are doing with the y-intercepts and the slope? Adding them. We're just adding them, right? So, why shall we, looking at this, does it make sense that we're just adding the y-intercepts and just adding the slopes? We're, just adding f of x and g of x. we're literally adding f of x and g of x. Kelsey, you paying attention? Yes, I am. Thank adding you. f of x plus g of x. Why is that important? Because it gets you the sum of linear functions. It gets us what? The sum of linear functions. Hey Shelby, can you tell Kelsey why it was important that we pay attention to the fact that it's f of x plus g of x? Because if you're adding, then you're just adding the two uh, y-intercepts or slopes, and that gives you the y-intercepts or slopes of h of x. Right? So it's a sum of two functions. So the slope of h of x is the sum of their slopes. The sum of their y-intercepts is the sum of, or is the y-intercept of h of x. Now, uh, Peyton and um, Kelsey and y'all, I think you had a discussion about if it was a sum of a quadratic and a linear. Oh, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Can anyone tell me why we know k of x right here is quadratic? Because it has a sum squared. As x squared, sum squared, x squared. So the highest power is the two, two, two. second, right? Yes, second. So let's change f of x plus g of x to f of x plus k of x. What do we get when we're adding a linear plus a quadratic? Okay. The linear plus a quadratic, we get a, a parabola. You get a parabola, right? Not just a parabola. I thought it was a different name for it. The parabola, whatever it's called. Say again? Mm -hmm. I thought it was like when it's facing up. Yeah, concave up right now. There'll be times when it's concave down. But I do want you to notice it's only going to be linear if it's a linear plus a linear. When it was a linear plus a quadratic, we got a quadratic. quadratic. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So we need to pay attention to that language there for sure. All right, it is time for enrichment. Um, you already have your homework sheet, so you already know exactly what the homework is. But just in case you were unsure. Yeah, I'm unsure. Here it is up on the board. It's just a handful of problems. Markers are what? Markers are better than chalk. 